today we're gonna make a rendition of my all-time favorite Lao comfort food, Bing Kai and Jamaklin, which in Lao literally means barbecue chicken with tomato sauce. Only instead of barbecue, we'll be frying the whole bird in a pan. And as you can hear just by the sound of it, it is going to be good. So we're going to start off by first flattening the whole chicken and removing some of the bones and pieces we will be needing for this recipe. Start by making a slice through the middle of the chicken breast. Let the bone in the rib cage guide you in slicing the meat off. Next, you want to find where the thigh joints are and pop it off from its socket. This helps to flatten the surface area of the chicken even more. From there, you can kind of guess where the bones of the thigh and the drumstick are. So use a small knife and slice the meat along the bones just to enable it to spread out a lot better. Flip the chicken over just to have a better visual of if you flatten and spread the surface area as best as you can. And using our hands to press down and break off any joints that holds up the chicken. She calls me day and night. I'm sorry, girl, you just don't make like the thighs, do the same with the wings, dislocating it so you could place it away from the chicken breast. Remove the bone attached to the wing. Flip it over once more. Check if you've got all of the surface area spread out. Season the chicken with ground white pepper and sea salt. Give it a good rub. Make sure you've got all the area seasoned. Once you're done, transfer the chicken skin side up to a tray or a big plate. And if you're bad with a knife like me, you leave a big piece of chicken meat lying around. <sighs> I need a beer. You need to keep it in the fridge for at least four to six hours if you have a small apartment fridge like me. This dries up the skin and makes the skin a whole lot crispier. Do not skip this step. At the meantime, you can start making your Jiao Maklin or Lao tomato sauce. The OG and the best ways to barbecue them but because I live in a small apartment, I have to resort to attempting to char it on the pan. If it turns black, you're doing it right. It gives a rich smokiness to the sauce and thickens the juice inside the tomatoes. Now because I couldn't get the same char on the barbecue, I tried torching it and ended up almost burning my house down. Parchment paper is not fireproof. As I was saying, you want to semi-cook and char the vegetables for the perfect texture. Again, here I'm going against the traditional way by blending the sauce rather than using a pestle and mortar. But if you do have a pestle and mortar, please use that instead and forego this heresy. Once it's nicely blitzed together, add fish sauce and salt to season, put it aside. Take your chicken out of the fridge, immediately you can feel that the skin has somewhat hardened a little, and it's a good sign. Pat down with a kitchen towel and we're ready to cook this delicious bird. Also worth mentioning here that I'm using the Fiskars Norden 26cm stainless steel pan which allows me to fit the entire bird. The pan is gorgeous and best of all, it's non-stick. Whichever pan you're using, be sure it is non-stick. Place the bird on the cold pan, tucking it in nicely to ensure that all parts of the skin has contact with the pan as much as possible. Honestly, a 30cm pan would be perfect for this. 
and notice that I didn't use any oil and that's because as you heat up the pan you're gonna render the chicken fat on the skin allowing the chicken skin to cook in its own fat depending on the heat you use the time varies from stove to stove because I'm using an induction it took a lot longer so you want to be checking in on the skin from time to time and you want a nice golden brown color to indicate that it's ready Towards the end, before flipping the chicken on the pan, I added a few knobs of butter just for a hint of buttery taste. Flip the chicken as best as you can and add in the aromatics. Spin the chicken if you want to. Set it on the board, place your tomato sauce in a bowl garnish with cilantro you can pop in a cold one or not and enjoy hope you like this video I've got more recipes coming up soon feel free to leave a comment or feedback that would mean a lot to me as I navigate and think of ways to come up with the recipes that can easily be done in an apartment kitchen see you in the next one